Edo State Police Commissioner Philip Obadu said firearms were recovered from the suspect who would soon be prosecuted. He warned that any suspect who opens fire on any policeman will not be spared while appealing to the House to use its powers to ensure that bushes on the Benin Lagos Highway are cleared to create a buffer for visibility in anti kidnapping operations. And we were able to recover the two corpses and they were taken to the mortuary. The third corpse was required on Monday. And since then, we step up our investigation, and the three men that did this were arrested in Delta State. CP Obaudu assured leadership of the House that the police will not relent in its mandate of ensuring zero tolerance to crime. The visit of the leadership of the Edo State House of Assembly gives us room for cooperation, gives us room for collaboration, it gives us room for synergy. It gives us room for working together. Earlier, Speaker Marcos Onobun commended the State Police Command for the arrest of the headsmen who killed vigilante officers in Ugo, Olongwa local government area, and urged citizens to partner with police by giving out useful information. Commend the effort that he has put in place since he resumed duties. We are aware since, ever since he stepped his foot to Edo State, he has not had sleep. And we're also aware that the criminals are unstable, that they are also losing sleep. We are aware of the gains that have been made. We have been properly briefed that uh, these people have been arrested. The arms have been recovered. And also the kidnap uh, incident that happened in uh, Isako Central. We're also aware that uh, uh, the people, the perpetrators of that, those crimes have also been arrested and neutralized. This is the kind of action um, officer we need in those states, and we are using this opportunity to also thank uh, the force headquarters for deploying this kind of uh, proactive commissioner of police to us in those states. I'm happy to say that the matter is seriously under control, and uh, we will not stop at that. We will continue to ensure that all the pushes in those states is being taken care of by Nigeria police force to ensure that our people will continue to do their duty without fear. The visit was sequel to a matter of urgent public importance on security in parts of the state raised during plenary of the House on the need for security agencies to ensure adequate protection of lives and property of citizens. Kingsley. Uh, my people, that's the video of um, Edo police um, arrested suspect headsmen uh, of killing vigilante in the uh, local government area this is what they do and guess what they are all hatesmen they are all hatesmen please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time thank you very much the federal government of nigeria is aware they know very well that hatesmen are carrying out this activity is not is not a, a winch hunt to some set it is the statement of fact that this is what is going on today as we speak. Headsmen are terrorists, but they will not want to call them that name. That's who they are. Nigerian government is aware. Buhari is aware. After they've done the crime in Edo State, they've moved, migrated all the way to Delta State, but they were apprehended there. And they were found with sophisticated arms. So what are you really talking about? Who really are these people? Who are giving them arms? And how are they able to move unhindered with arms all over the country? Nobody. I mean, nobody unhindered. Nobody's hindering them. They go about. They carry arms. Headsmen, you know. In Nigeria, it's against Nigerian constitution for anybody to carry arms. Yet the mighty allies issuing a statement and they are not allowing them to thrive. They are not allowing them to do their business. Excuse me. Have they done well? If they have done well, then they will do their business unhindered. Nobody will disturb them. But when they are, you, they all know, that's the funniest thing. Nigerian government is 200% aware, knows very well that these headsmen are killing people. They know. But guess what? When you have sent a child on an errand, they, are you, they tell you that the child does something. You know that you, you were the one that sent the child to go and do that, commit that level of crime. What would you say? Eh, leave her, leave her, leave her. You will not want to condemn the child because you know you are the one who told that child. Say, go there, go beat him. Go there, go and hit him. You were the one who sent that child. 
So when the reports come, when people come back and tell you that, look at what your child has done, A, B, Z, you will not be too offended. You will not, you will not be surprised. That's the word. You will not be surprised. The people are surprised that the child behaved in this state, uh, took these steps and all, what have you. But you, no, you're not surprised. You sent the child. It was, you were instrumental to it. You told the child, that's the boy that is always uh, fighting you, right? Okay, there's nobody with him. Go and hit him. Then he hits that child in a kind of position that was not good. And that child injures himself and go back home and tells the parents. And the parents returns to you and say, ah, look at what your child did. He hits this boy so much so that with this kind of weapon and all that, and the child is injured. You say, eh, eh, but you did not know when this one was uh, hitting. That, because you are not surprised. You not. You aided it. You assisted it. In fact, you started it. You did it. That's what is going on. The whole, the whole essence of this illustration was for you to understand that Nigerian government, Buhari, and every one of them in government, because listen, if you are in government and you know that evil is going on and you keep quiet, silence, they say, is what concerns so. It means you are happy. If you're not, you will speak out. You will vehemently kick against it and say, no, 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 no. This is unheard of. You will do the needful. Buhari is going about his duty as if nothing is happening. It's carrying on with life business as usual. In fact, making a point, making tea, drinking wine, behaving as if nothing is happening. Because, did you see what he did in Castina? He was not surprised that his uh, dogs are biting people. No. Children were in school, boarding house, can carry Castina State. And these guys went there, took the children away, you know, and government have to pay 30 million. He told them, if you want more money, you have to tighten the boat. So they know you're the one who is surprised. You're the one who is, how can this be happening? They are not surprised. Do you understand me? No, they are not surprised. You see all the governors of the North, when it comes to, uh, when it comes to uh, this set of, you see all of them, they, they came to all the way to uh, 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 Ondo State, to Akure, to have a meeting with Akere Dolu that he said headsmen must leave. Why Ikiti governor is embracing them? You know the funniest thing? These governors, their families have to feel it. Probably their wife, their children. Someone somewhere has just have to feel it. So that, you know, the people can begin to, they can begin to, by the time you will see the way they will spring up. You know, like when somebody, when, 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 you, when you touch a viper by the tail, you step up, uh-huh. You know, you know the way it springs and, and stings. Uh-huh. Then we begin to get somewhere with all that is currently going on. Other than that, hmm, these people, hmm, they are not even ready. They, okay, they are not even ready to to do the needful or to make the place to make the place safe for anybody. Are you? Can you say that Buhari is not surprised? He's not. He sent them. He is. I mean, they are. They are his people. They are doing what he has asked them to do. So why should he be surprised in any way, form or kind? Why should he be surprised? He told them to do this. They are doing it. Like the illustration we gave, you ask a child to do something. The child has done it. So why will you go and why will you be surprised that the child did what you asked the child to do? You will not. You will just, you know, you say, eh, was that what the child did? Eh, don't worry, I will look into it. Is that not what Buhari is doing? Is that not what he's doing to the whole nation? Eh, okay, headsman, okay, we'll look into it. Is there not a law that prohibits headsmen from roaming the country? Leave us a comment. God bless you. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Bye for now.